What's up guys, Pixels here, and today we want to talk about Conan Exiles selling 1 million copies. Now, this happened ahead, now this happened before the release date, but I still want to talk about it because it's very important, and I'm actually going to show you guys exact proof of why I think this is good and why I feel like ARK is going to be a lot more better because they want to compete with this game. So, the game came out yesterday, and I'm going to tell you guys from the beginning, when Conan first came out, I did not like it. I did not like it the way the game was when it was released on early SS. Don't get me wrong, the game ran smooth, the game was okay, but it was a lot of features missing and a lot of things I wanted in the game that is in it right now that was not in it from the beginning. I'll be 100% transparent with you guys. I did get the game on every single platform and I haven't spent any money. They, they was kind enough to give me a copy on the PS4 to actually check it out when the game was actually released. So I'll be checking that out. And they pretty much emailed me and asked me that I want some free copies to give away for you guys. So if you guys want Conan Exiles and you don't have it, let me know. I haven't figured out if I'm going to ask for code for the PC, Xbox One, or PS4. Um, but most likely, it will probably be for the Xbox One. Um, just because I know a lot of you guys play on there. So make sure you put Conan dash whatever console you want the game for. And whatever is mostly there is what I will be asking for. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that they sold 1 million copies because because you can tell by a little bit of things that Wildcard and Snow Games did that can tell you that they're worried about this game. So we're going to talk about what they pretty much added in the game. So they, they added the North, the Volcano, and the Swamp. So it's more to the game than what you was expecting. I haven't really checked out the Volcano or the Swamp yet. I'll probably be checking it out today. Um, but you can tell they already was half things in the game. It's an early access versus launch. So they started out with 29 resources, now you get 60. Consumers World was 20, now it's 150. So you can tell they added a lot more things. Now me personally, I thought place I thought placeable was already high, <laughs> but now that they add, they almost damn near doubled it. Um it's pretty pretty cool. So play animations, monsters, recipes, pretty much double everything that was already in the game when it first was an early SS. Um and, and that's pretty good. Now this is the proof of why I feel like you know wild card and you know snow games is actually worried about this game. If we could take a look at the Xbox store, you can tell that the game is now $19 for six days. Now, of course, this is a sale. And a lot of people could argue that, you know, maybe it was an Xbox sale and they wanted to drop the price. I don't agree with that. If your game is actually doing pretty well, there's no reason for you to really drop your price. We already know the problems with Pixar with the multiplayer and stuff like that. I think personally, if they wanted to show that it wasn't scared, they would have just dropped the price as soon as the multiplayer was out. Um, I do feel like anyone who returned the game because it was no multiplayer, this is probably the best chance to go ahead and get the game. Because the game was $19 on Steam when it was first released, which is ridiculous. I honestly feel like it should have been this price in general. But at the same time, it's great to see that they dropped the price. So go ahead and pick it up. Look at it, as like, look at it like this. Competition is good. It benefits us. Go and pick it up. Now, the biggest thing is if you look at Ark Survival Evolved, Pixar really isn't a competition to Conan Exiles. This is his own thing, in my own, in my honest opinion. I feel like what Pixar is more in competition to Minecraft than anything. Um, but if we take a look at Ark Survival Evolved, it is thirty-five ninety-nine. Now, if I'm correct, Conan Exiles should be, and I'm gonna go ahead and search that out real quick. All right, so Conan Exiles on the Xbox One is fifty dollars, and Arc Survival Evolve is 35. Now, if you look at the amount of content that you'll get, um, I would still probably say get Conan just because it's the full game. Um, they're pretty much selling you Arc Survival Evolve, but they're not selling you the DLC. That's the biggest thing. So if Arc Survival Evolve has a deal with the DLC, then I can honestly see you picking it up. But we still have to go out and get the season pass. And then on top of that, that's, I think that's another $24. I can't really remember. Um, but you're pretty much paying more. Actually, you're about, to, you're about to be paying the same amount of money you'd be paying for Conan Exiles, if I'm correct. Um, if you look at that price and add on the season pass, you're pretty much paying the same price. So it really don't matter what you get. But at the same time, you can tell that Arc Survival Evolve definitely, definitely dropped that price almost half just because... They wanted to compete with Conan Exiles. So let me know what you guys are in the comments below. Like I said, I'm glad that Conan Exiles has sold 1 million copies. If you guys do want a free copy, let me know. I'll be doing the giveaway very, very soon. I just have to 
I have to figure out what platform I want to do it on. I know a lot of you guys play on Xbox One, so so most of you guys most likely will be picking that. Um, but like I said, I do have a PS4 version. I will be hooking my PS4 up tonight or tomorrow or by Friday, and I'll give you guys a video to show you guys the PS4 copy of the game. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video.